called Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Theodore Geisel, better known as Cough, 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 cough. Hello and welcome to the stream. Uh, the timer is not really a timer, of course. I just put up the time it was when I started, you know, a few seconds after I started the stream. So that is totally useless. Uh, and like the rest of the stream will be totally useless. So hope, uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to our favorite, my favorite file, readme.stream, which reminds me who I am and what I'm supposed to do. Okay. And by the way, this is no longer correct. Um, I do want to keep those URLs in here because we might get back to them at some point. Okay. Now, one thing I do that doesn't help you at all is when I bring up this VM or in a startup script to fix the time, I'll get an SSH FS. Well, I'll show you what I do, actually. Um, and that startup script, oh, yes, I just realized something. Um, that startup script is actually... Um, <laughs> it gets overmounted because one of the things it does is it mounts um, it mounts the uh, secure shell file system, so it itself disappears. Except I think maybe it doesn't. I think somehow through some magic, it is still available somewhere. Um, and I'm apparently wrong about that. So let's just see if we can find startup.shell, but this might, and the one that you're seeing now, whoa. Wait, that one, oh wow. Oh. Well, if I fix this, it's not going to help anything because it's going to change the one that is mounted, not the one that's in the original home directory. Why is there no startup.shell here? I thought I'm going to have this, right? Oh no, this is actually on the um, other machine. Um, but changing it won't help because it's not going to do anything. Uh, all right, so I will make a note to do that to my by myself. I did want to add a step here, reminding myself um, to uh, run bc git because sometimes I forget, and when that happens, uh, you know, I we make a lot of changes here, some of which may break things. Uh, but it would be nice that every day at the end of the at the end of the session we remember uh, to uh, to push our our mistakes. So when we make new ones, we can get back to the old ones. Uh, and yes, that made sense. Okay, fortunately I did that earlier today, so we're good there. Now, the problem we were running into yesterday was uh, when we were running this, what appears to be very simple code in, in uh, Replit, it just sort of froze forever. Um, and we don't know why. I did try one thing, which was assigning res to a three element array. So this would just basically, uh, you know, overwrite the elements of the array, not, uh, not remove, not have to add new elements to an array, which can be more time consuming. Um, I'm now reloading this. We'll try it one more time through Replit, and we will use the um, the result uh, pop out that there will, will that will come up. And the reason we're going to do that is because it's possible. I mean, I know JavaScript runs client side, so nothing like this should be happening. However, um, as much as JavaScript runs client side, Replit is doing some additional magic. Or it's possible the Replit site itself is slow, so just getting the JavaScript or the data that we're pulling is difficult. Uh, so if if we'll give it one more shot, and if it doesn't work there, we're going to run it locally, which we can do because we can download the zip and then unzip it where we want. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, and maybe it's just decided it's going to stop entirely. So that, that would be a, a sort of a, a sort of a bad thing. All right, why don't we do this? We're going to go back to Replit. Maybe Replit has gone out of business. They're just sick to death of people like me doing this. So, okay. I think maybe this tab is stuck. Okay. So now let's try this one more time. Replit. Let's just go all cold hog on this. Um, you can import repos from uh, GitHub, which is nice, but you can't export them to GitHub as far as I... Actually, I think you can, uh, which maybe I should be doing, actually. Um, there should actually be an option here at the left that uh, uh, that has like v packages, version control. Um, I don't really need to create a Git repo for this, um, but I enjoy wasting other people's time. So, um, uh, and there it is. It's got. I don't know where the hell this is get pushed to. I think I figured it out once. 
Uh, and I obviously do have access to it, but, uh, but there we go. We have initially committed this, but we've actually worked on it quite a bit, so not, not really a great uh, use of Git here. Okay, so we're just going to run this as is, and then we're going to run it like, let's actually run it like this and see if it still fails. Because this is, you know, this is cleaner. Um, this is cleaner because it doesn't have the replet overhead here. And it's not looking good. It is not looking good. Now I use replet so people can, uh, you know, pair code with me. I don't really, wow, that, that is broken, okay. Uh, so people can pair code with me. Um, no one actually has so far. I mean, in in this stream, but it is an open option. If you want to, if you want to look into it, if you want to consider doing it, uh, let me know in chat or in any of the ten billion methods to give people have contacted me in below my Twitch, uh, you know, in the Twitch panels that I have below the stream. Uh, and if you think, well, doesn't don't you sound lonely? That is absolutely correct. So really, just any human being anywhere. Uh, we'll talk about anything. Seriously. Um, okay. All right, so now let's go to downloads and look at the thing that we, uh, look at the zip files that we downloaded. I think we have the latest one. And I guess I, there's really not a, there's no way to actually say that whether we do or not, we, we might as well download the latest version here. Uh, download a zip. Okay. I think it's going to be the same though. And one way to check to see if it's the same, because as always, we like getting caught up in diversions is uh, let's take the SHA-1 sum of the Twitch waypoints uh, zips. And I think, I didn't think they'd all be different. So there's some, but the difference might be very minor, like a timestamp. Okay, now what I usually do is I, I create a directory for every day that I do some work, which is almost never. So this is the directory of the day. We're going to copy over the latest one, which is the highest numbered one, uh, Twitch waypoints 5, I think it is. Yep. And we have to backslash it. I'm going to unzip it right here. Okay, cool. So now what are we going to do? Well, we want to get BC Lib staging and uh, BC Lib um, both. You know, we want to we want to make get the same version everywhere. And obviously, the place we're going to put all this is in the Git repository. So we're going to use a program called Meld, assuming I have it um, assuming I have it installed. Uh, we'll start with BC Lib. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I got to go into Lib. BC lib staging, and we can, um, cause I think I do a lot of crap with that. That's probably going to look worse. And then we're going to, let's do it. Meld not found. Woohoo! I tell ya. Let's go ahead and sudo install it. I'm pretty sure it's in the repo, so it's not a huge deal. That was not ASMR, that was me drinking a beverage in product. Okay, so this shouldn't take long. I mean, nothing should take long. The universe should, um... Uh, the universe shouldn't take long. This is not going well. Mm. Now, the, the other problem I discussed yesterday is that this machine might itself, um... Uh, be be getting too much, uh, not g being enough RAM. That looks okay there. Let me go look on the main machine. Yeah, my uh, my uh, usage is up there, but it's not. I mean, most of it is virtual uh, virtual box and OBS. And to be honest, I can't really do anything about that. I mean, I can, but then you won't see what's going on, which kind of defeats the whole purpose. Okay, I am running Mathematica, which I'll stop on the main machine. That'll give us a little bit of performance. And I think that's all I can do. Wow. Either that or someone's like killing the network right now. Maybe, maybe, maybe someone is killing the network here. Let's, let's, I'm going to find out on my other machine where I'm going to use NTOP. Uh, unfortunately, um, I cannot, or I will do not really don't want to show you guys what's on this machine because it is tru truly evil. Okay. Showing a total data transfer of about 400 kilobytes per kilobits per second. Um, and an awful lot of it is going to this address, which I very strongly suspect is, is, is stream. And if it is, I'll tell you what the IP address is, not that it helps you any. Um, video edge ee ord o2 no apps ttvnw.net, which is uh, probably stream. It's probably, um, 
it's probably I'm just gonna keep blabbing until I hopefully get it correct. Um Wait, what? I didn't exit on user command. Hello Fierce Crocodile, welcome back. Uh yes I am on was already thinking no berry today. Well you know I don't expect to see the end of this decade, so one day there will be no berry today. I mean, you know, depending on what your feeling is on whether you can name uh, things that are dead. So, I mean, there'll be a berry corpse, which is kind of nice, but, um, you know, uh, there will not be a berry anymore. Okay. So, for some reason, I think I interrupted that, um, that install. It's running much faster now. Yes. I want meld. So, again, we've now broken into the diversion of installing something, but I think we might be okay. BC lib staging versus BC git. BC lib staging. Uh, in a perfect world, these would be the same, and I would be tall. Er. Okay. So let's take a look here at the differences. Uh, okay. And of course, the sad thing is the one we're looking at. Let's see. Whoa. Yo, mama. Um, they have the same name. So I think. Oh man, um, well if they're identical, of course, they both get changed. So, so let's see, do I prefer, I think I'm going to prefer this. Uh, Gudermanian, I really shouldn't be defining the math Gudermanian function, um, but if I'm going to define it, we're going to do it with no spaces. And all the f are the files identical now? Uh, sometimes it'll tell me, no, oh, no, no, there's a bunch of small changes here. Oh man, this is going to be really ugly. Oh, all right. I didn't even think they were this long. Okay. Like a vault. Okay. So it looks like this version I just removed the spaces. And I think there's a way to say um ignore spaces. Um let's see. Folder comparisons, no. Version control, don't care. File filters, text filters. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know if that actually did anything. But anyway. Okay, we have JNB all, which looks like someone just saying all, but it's hard to tell. I'm not really into these emoji thingies. Um, okay, so apparently there is no way to say, uh, in, in diff, there definitely is a way. Um, no, see, I have show white space turned off, so you should ignore it. Mm. Insert spaces to sort of tabs, enable text wrapping, highlight, well, let's see what that does. Okay, that looks a little bit better, so I don't have to keep scrolling. Um, aha! I might be able to... Diff is the normal one, but it can actually ignore... Minus capital B, I think, will ignore... Um, ignore all white spaces, diff minus W. Let's see if I can do this. It probably won't work for a variety of reasons that I don't really understand. Okay. Um, and is there a save? I guess I just X out of this. And uh, hopefully it saves my changes. Um, close without saving because I want to see what it does now. Heard you call them yesterday and vouch for my big D. Uh, yes, no. Uh, oh, cool. That's awesome. Uh, yes, I'm glad you got the job. Okay, so there was a confusing comment here by Fierce Rock that I was being funny. Um, it's hard to tell with Germans because, you know, they're, they're, they can be pretty wacky and then they can also, like, kill thousands, millions of people. So it's kind of a balance. Uh, but good, I'm glad you got the job and I'm glad, um, I'm glad. And by the way, uh, you said you sold your soul. Um, not entirely clear that Germans have souls. Uh, if you're a redhead, you definitely don't. Um, but I'm glad you got the job, and um, and um, I assume it's in Germany, and you can now. We never laugh. No, that's uh, well, Schadenfreude. I mean, 
you, you laugh at pain. <laughs> but, but anyway, I'm glad you got a job. Um, just, just remember uh, ethics, blah, blah, blah. Don't do anything to destroy the world. Or if you ever do something that destroys the world, try to delay it until after I'm gone. So, uh, you know, I don't have to deal with it. Okay, so let's see if this helps or hurts what I've been doing. Or, let's see. Okay, you're still pointing out changes in... Oh! This is the editor command. This is not the uh, diff command. So that is, uh, that is not cool. Um... Alright, maybe there's no way to do this, what I'm, I'm thinking of. Um, which will annoy me. And maybe the color blue is a way of saying there's only text-based changes, but that would be like trying to understand this shit. Um, of course, at some point, as always, wow, it's going to take more effort to try to figure this out than to go through the frickin' changes myself. Uh, oh, this is gedit. I use it all the time. Gedit is the best. Now, Emacs is the best, but for what I'm doing right now, gedit looks like it is sufficient. Um, but maybe you know, is there like a special code? Oh! So does blue in meld mean just only changes um, in spaces or whatever, as opposed to, you know, changes that are significant? Um... Okay, no. No. View. Toolbar. Okay, no. Next pane. No. Screw you. Um. So is there a way here that I can tell it what colors I want for, for various different kinds of... Uh, apparently not. Okay, no, no clue. I'm happy when it works for me. That's why I use gedit. It's simple. Well, it might be too simple. It might be a simple... Well, I guess there is sort of a help here. No, that's not real. Contents, which is maybe an actual helpy thing. Um, resolving merge flattened view. What is a flattened view? That might sounds interesting. Oh, no. Um, things Mel doesn't do. Um, uh, does not insert, there is no option to do that, okay? Um, ooh, you can do a three-way comparison. Um, uh, command line uses keyboard shortcuts, melts preferences. Editor command. Are oh, you right? Gedit appears to be the default. Okay. What would happen if I change it to Emacs? Um. I'm sure you have to Google. Well, you would think it would be in the help. Um. So let's see if the word blue appears in here. Okay. Well, again, sadly, I think it might be easier to go to um, Google than to um, uh, then to actually try to look for this answer in the instructions. Meld blue versus green. Um, okay. This sounds interesting. Um, I want to see the word blue. Where do you... Okay. okay. Aha! Um, this does not help me. Um, this does not seem to be helping me. Uh, sadly, I have to work while listening. Maybe they can enroll, then I can enroll for a bachelor's in math and then study something real or imaginary or totally not there. I've been told the pie you promised is not even... I promised a pie? 
Oh, the math pi. I didn't promise it. Somebody else promised you the math pi. Oh, oh, you mean the pi pi. Yes. Well, it is. Not only is it real. Well, it is real. It's not rational, though. And it's, so it is a real number. It's not a rational number. And it's never-ending pi. It never ends in a decimal. Uh, there's no decimal end to it. Um, so, you know, it is never-ending pi, and it is real. If you define those words, uh, but I can do pi times e, that's not, um, uh, that's not, r ugh. I think you can show that's not real either, but it's, it's not necessarily true. Um, e plus pi or e minus pi, one of those we don't know if it's rational or not. Um, e to the power uh, 2 pi i is, of course, rational and equal to 1. But anyway, what the hell am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be merging these pieces of shit. And as near as I can tell, the only freaking difference here is is spaces. And I'm going to guess that blue means just spaces changes. I, I'm probably wrong about that, but you know. Okay. Hang on. Now, actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave this program. And, you know, you're disappointed to be meld. Uh, sorry, always these distractions. No, 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 because now, and I don't know if you've, if you've noticed this, I've reversed the tables, uh, which you probably haven't noticed because you don't have a camera into my living room where I did reverse those tables. But also, I'm now distracting you from work. And the, and the sort of thing you have to remember is, I don't know if you're getting paid for the work you're doing now or you're, you're going to start later, uh, but at some point I'll be distracting you from paid work, which makes me a worse person than you for uh, distracting me from unpaid work. So just, just a little, little tip for you there. All right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use diff minus w because white space is almost always uninteresting. Okay. Ooh. So, well, crap. Okay. This was unexpected. I thought the only changes there were white space changes. So now, oh, fudge. Vectors add is definitely only in one of them because they just added it yesterday. Okay, so now we're going back to using meld because it's shinier. So the one on the left is actually the... Um, okay, so all this stuff has been added, and that I know should be added, so I'm good there. Um, and actually, even though I turned it on, I'm getting sick of test text uh, wrap. So we will turn that off. We will also try to figure out how I can hit the word preferences without doing it wrong. Okay. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Walking down the street. Um, this is, by the way, the, the, um, the version that's from uh, REPL. So that's fine. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Actually, we shouldn't have a math glitter onion there at all. Uh, pi over earth radius. Uh, yeah, go ahead and use the one that doesn't have the, um, all of it. All of it. All of it. Yep. Like a vault. All of it. I have that camera in your living room. You should wear trousers while programming. Well, you know, how am I going to program without the D out? I mean, think. Uh, that is what actually does the uh, thinking in men, it turns out. You would think that it was like the brain or something, but no. That does the thinking. It likes to be loose and cool. Clearly, you don't have a very big thinking organ, but, you know, it operates correctly. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, wait, so this is, um, 
these are different. Um, and in this case, I think this is the one that's more modern. Um, even though it has spaces in it, this is the one we want to keep. Alrighty. We're booking through this at the speed of fucking nothing. Okay. Let plain length 2 equal... Okay, so this is the one that returns the array because this is the uh, newer version. Want that. Uh, but... Since this is only a change in spaces, we can do it that way. Ha! This is the most fucking confusing thing I've ever done. I'm going to save both of them now. Um, so they're still different. But, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, I think it's only a space difference. And it looks like it. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And... Um, by the way, if you if you think this uh, this stream is boring, and you're absolutely correct, um, I just want the version without spaces. Um, and I didn't realize it was going to be quite this dull because I mean I thought we were going to get through this pretty quickly. Um, so this this is a, a stream that's dull even for me. Um, so you know, suck it. Okay. Um, and I think in this one uh, we did something I did I really made a, a useful change um, math well, did I or did I just mess with some spaces I think I just messed with some spaces so we're going to go here and here no spaces Maybe, um, what's its face? Replit adds those spaces. Um, again, really the same thing except for the spaces. I'm once again questioning whether I should be doing this. Um, Seriously? The only difference between these, they're both blank lines, but one of them has spaces at the beginning. Mel, you are fucking evil. Alright. Alright. This sucked balls. Okay. I think I might have changed it anyway, though. BC lives staging at 1743. It is currently... Oh, I didn't save it. Okay, cool. All right, so why did I do that? Um, I don't know. Now, what we're going to do is go into a diff minus W. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, I'm suspicious now. Okay. I'm going to unzip it again. I know there were more than uh, that that few. Oh, I guess I have to return all this. Return and <laughs> delete all this crap because I'm going to... I'm going to start from scratch. Because it itches and, uh, you know, I... Probably, like, scar or something, but... Anyway. All right, let's do this again. CD lib. When I did a diff minus u. that it? Oh, fudge! I think I changed BC lib staging. Um, so now it looks more accurate. Okay, but I think that's the problem. Yep, that's the problem, all right. Okay. I'm going to pull the old version. Um, because I want to do something a little bit different here. And this shouldn't require a pull because I've never actually committed made this commit. Okay. Didn't like that. Because it thinks all of this crap is not committed. Which it is. But anyway. I'm gonna do it on the other machine. I was hoping to do it here. 
Um, but let's see, BC lib staging. All right. Um, okay, hang on one second here. <sighs> okay, that's weird. According to this, so now um, the difference between the push version and this version is should be none. Should be none. Shouldn't be this unhappy. Screw yourself. It is none. Just I. It's on the other machine, and it definitely says none. Now we're going to do our little diff minus u job. W. Well, yeah, we're going to go into a directory. Where Okay. Not cool. I know there are bigger changes than that. So now we get into a different. Um, now, reset should have reset the damn thing. Um. Yeah, because I know there wasn't a vectors add whatever. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull BC lib staging from um, from the git. No, I meant to say I said BC lib pull. I meant to say git pull. Um, that's not what I meant to do. Um, okay, I'm gonna daringly remove BC lib staging because I'm an idiot. And then we set it. Oh. Oh, shiny. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Okay, well, now it says unknown revision or path not in working tree. Woohoo! Really effed that up. All right, let me get log real quick. Actually, I'm going to try to do as much of this as I can here. To help you guys out, I don't know how it helps you guys out. Oh, I'm not in Git, am I? Hang on. Um. So I apparently did a checkpoint. Hmm. Hmm. T this is a 10:18, which would be 17:18. Uh, time in Greenwich because it says minus 0700. But for some reason, something is wrong. So let me. Fucking hell. Let me see if I can pull this revision. No, it doesn't. Um, get reset? I don't think that's correct, though. Yeah, it from here it thinks there are unsaved. Th these aren't unsaved changes, uh, but for some reason it thinks that from here. All right, let me do it from the other machine. Sadly, um, <sighs> something is rotten in the state of Denmark. Oh, pull remote. I think that's what remote sa. Uh. Here we go. <sighs> Get pull remotes. Get reset remotes. Wow. Alright, anyone who knows Git can help me out here. Um, I want to undo this, um, apparently this ad that I did, Git status. Um, and you know, maybe, because we are on a secure shell, it's not going to work from here, unfortunately. Um, Oh, git checkout is what I was looking for. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, I did a git checkout, so now we should be golden. I say that as though... Let's make sure that it doesn't end in... Um, doesn't end in those network functions. Those vector functions. It does not appear to. So now we can go back to our lovely, happy here. Diff minus W. This better be like... Okay, there we go. That's what I've been expecting here. Um... And so why is this relevant? There's no, it's only 62 left. Okay. Because now I can go into um, meld and um, god damn it. Seriously? I mean, this is like a, a new line is the only uh, thing that's there. Shakespeare Barry is educated. What? Did I did I quote Shakespeare by mistake? Forsooth. And blah 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 blah. Alrighty, let's see if we can get um Expand tabs, initial tabs. I've told it to ignore all white space, I mean Is a new line not considered white space? Alright, well, let's try it again. And this time, I'm going to use the stupid uh, built-in. Oh my god, that's terrible. Okay. So here's the plan. We're going to take the golden hand and give it to Stan. Okay? Stan's in the yet into the tan van. Golden hand to Stan, tan van. Everyone got that? Alright. All right, so what we're going to do here is actually we're going to go ahead and bring up meld, but I'm only going to look at the stuff here that um, diff minus u shows me because I am freaking awesome. And I want to see if I can do it this way. bc git bc lib staging versus... Oh, that's, that's not good. Where am I? Oh, the stupid secure shell mount thing. Um... BC lib staging and today's lovely BC lib staging. But we're only going to look at the stuff that Diff tells us about, although this is going to make it a freaking pain in the ass to do anything. Um, because, well, let's see. Yeah, this is going to be like really, really ugly. So, is there a way I can do this better? Well, first of all, I can minimize windows I don't need. Ah, that's helpful. Um, second, I can make it easier to flip between these two, even if I can't bring them up at the same time. Oh, actually, I've got quite a bit of clear sky here. Yeah, this should be more than enough to at least, uh, you know, find the errors. Okay. Now are these only... Th <sighs> okay, this is actually an important change. Um, now R2 should appear somewhere in one of these suckers. Oh, and that's why I can't push this down too far because I do want to keep the bottom bar. Um, no, not cool. Okay, why the hell is that happening then? One of you guys... One of you guys should have... Um, an R2, so why am I... Do, can I find just one of them? Paste, find... Um, so you both have an R. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so you both have X object R, effectively. Um, so why the hell wasn't I finding, I guess, if I did this? Oh, 
So when you're finding things, it's only in one of the two files. So if I put my cursor over here and find R2, there isn't one. Okay, I got it. So that's pretty ugly. Okay, um, so this is actually a, an improvement where we turn an array, so that's good. We, we'll do that. Um, oh, sorry. Every time I we run that program, it's going to change. Um, and I think there's exact opposite. I think that's going to happen here too, um, because I'm returning another array. I changed this function uh, to return another array, which is good. Wait. Oh, I need to save them, don't I? Saving. Okay. Not cool. It apparently doesn't let me save. Uh, well, it does, but I think I've got to do it this way. Okay, now, show me the difference. Okay, so lat long lat to ortho xy. I think they both have this function. Um, it's written differently, though. I mean... Really? I mean, really, the only changes here are spaces. So I'm going to prefer the version that has fewer spaces. But I mean, this, these aren't really different. Why are they? Oh, because they're on multiple lines, that's why. Okay. Uh, then show me the next little batch here. Line 176. Does this have line numbers? Show me your line numbers. Can I get this to show line numbers? Uh, is there a preference for that? Okay, I'm highlight current highlight well show line numbers. Well that's really easy. Show white space. Because if you're gonna fuck with me with white space, you better show it too. So line 176 is where we're headed. Okay, let's see what this does here. Again, yep. The only, the only, the only changes here are spaces. So we will prefer the version that has fewer spaces, fewer spaces. Um, what's our next little change here? Vector multiply and vector add, and that that is definitely uh, that is definitely something I need to add. So whoever has it, um, aha. Yep. This. Definitely add. Okay. Save. Save. Diff. This annoys the crap out of me, but at line 300. And that's only because there's a, a new line. Otherwise, it would be... Even that wouldn't really be... A, it's not really a difference, but it's just a, like I put an extra new line somewhere. So in line... Um, In line, so wow. So wait, what are you, it's mad at me because one line is there's an extra new line somewhere in this whole damn thing. Well, and spaces obviously, but I mean, so if I put like a new line here, here, it's okay. It is sort of unhappy with that. Um, and again, I think this, these are two, these two are identical. Why am I so far down? Um, I think these two are identical. Uh, except for spacing. So the version with the less spacing wins. Um, I'm, I'm hoping this is like the same stuff though. So you, 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 not you. Because, okay, so now, Wow. So there is like a a little three hundred versus three hundred. Let's see. We well, don't even list. Oh, hang on. Save. Save. Now, ha! Booyah! The two files are identical up to white space. I'm very happy. Now you think we'd, we'd be done with this because you know, hey, isn't that great that we fixed that? Uh, we didn't. 
Um, that does it for Twitch waypoints, but I, th I think I've changed my library in other ways um, uh, outside of Twitch waypoints uh, 5. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a directory called waypoints, and we're going to move all... Don't have that alias anymore. Um, make your waypoints, and we're going to move all this crap, the, including the... Um, put in the zip file into waypoints. Now we can't move waypoints into itself, but it'll tell us that, yeah. Okay, so now what else do we need to do here? Um, aside from get a life. Um, all right, so let's go back to rep. Where did that replit go? Oh yeah, I had to kill it, so we had to become a new replit window. Okay, let's go ahead and go to my other projects and we'll look at the, uh, the uh, BC lib uh, oh, fudge. Hang on. I only did BC Lib, not BC Lib staging. I'm an idiot. Diff minus U, and I think it's not going to be an issue, actually. Because I don't think I ch ever change BC Lib. Which is bad. Yeah, we're fine. Berry, be my berry. The second berry was spelled B E R R Y. So, uh,. Really, that could be interpreted in so many ways. Uh, if you mean Barry in the sense of being like an uh, academic inspiration to you to pursue math and science, I'm there. If you mean Barry as in something you suck on, eh, give me a little time. Okay. So let's see if we can go back to me, my meanness. There we go. And we will go back to... I'm hoping the rest of these won't quite be as bad. Why? Oh, I'm... What the hell? I might have been looking at somebody else's repls and accidentally made clones of them. So let's go back to Twitch Interpolation. And wait three or four hundred years until it's ready. Um... Okay. And now we just download this as a zip. By the way, I've got the song uh, Hollaback Girl stuck in my head, so if anyone can help with that, I don't know how, but... Uh, it's a twist, and of course we want the latest version. I guess we've downloaded other versions, otherwise we wouldn't have it numbered 8, but... Okay. Uh, oh, and we want to move it here. And I want to get into a directory called Interpolation for this one, uh, so we don't have the same problem as before. Uh, twitch interpolation dot here, unzip the mother, and now we can always hope um, that you know they're identical to begin with. Up to white space. <sighs> BC git, BC lib staging. Our hopes are dashed upon the waters. How many? How much? One hundred twelve freaking lines? Are you kidding me? Oh my f effing god! I added all of this interpolation crap to it, which is good, uh, in in some sense, but it is bad in the sense that um, it's bad. Okay, so I can do from here. So we're doing interp interpolations. Um, this is good actually because I do need to put this stuff into my um, BC lib staging .js. This is good, because I actually need to put all this crap into the regular library. Blood Trail. See, I see these em emojis, and I can, I, if I hover over them, it tells me that this is Blood Trail. I have no idea what they're supposed to mean, though. Um, the only one I sort of understand is the, like, the frog that looks confused. And I think that means, what you're talking about, Willis? Except nobody here knows who Willis is, so that's really not good. Okay. So this is interp to xy, a function that I added. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. It gets in. And now, let's see what the, now there's going to be like virtually no differences. Oh, if I were to save, you know, both of them. Well, I'm wrong. Oh, shit. The other one doesn't have vectors, multiply and vectors add. 
at, or XYZ to Sphere. So let's, I mean, there's really no need to get the other one to look like this one, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to make them look the same. I mean, obviously the one that, that's more important is the one that's in the Git. But let's be nice and do that now. Um, only one of them has sphere called XYZ, and I'm pretty sure it's this one. So I remember adding that yesterday. <whistles> no, they both do, and they're different. So this is the better version because this actually returns an array as well. So this is the better version, and it's got to be the the same thing for the other one. I mean, it's got to be that this doesn't return an array if you even if you want one. And so we'll keep this, but ha ha we will keep the one with less spaces. Files are freaking identical. Put that in your whatever the hell you put things in and smoke it. So I will confirm that. Awesome. Now we'll do it for bclib, but again I don't think I make many changes to bclib, so I do not expect this to return anything, and it doesn't. Fantastic! We're, we're, we're in the uh, we're in the money, we're in the money, no we're not. Um, so let's go back now and go back to the previous one b before Twitch interpolation. I'm really glad that I got that. Uh, now of course the problem is I might have like squidged it so that um, these libraries don't work anymore. I might have added like a, a bracket or something. So there's always that, that much fun. Oh here they are, okay. Waypoints, interpolation, org.js playing around with. Uh, playground, data server, star map, and I think OSM leaflet was the oldest um, of my of my rep of the repls I've used for Twitch. I have more repls for you. Um, pages game uh, OSM and 3D map stuff. So at some point, I really do need to check these as well. Ooh, especially Terra map tools. But for right now, I'm just going to go for the ones that I've used in Twitch, the stuff I've done in Twitch. Ain't, uh, ain't no hollaback, hollaback girl. Ain't no hollaback girl. And you know, I didn't realize this. She actually is saying, uh, it's my shit. It's my shit. I thought shit was one of the words, you're not, you know, you can't say in a music video because they have to bleep it. Uh, but apparently, uh, you know, it, it works for whatever reason. Okay, so now let's look at... Um, What's what's new in downloads? What's new in fashion? I don't know. Do you know what's new in downloads? Uh, Twitch wait. Oh yeah, it would be nice if I actually downloaded the, the, some of these things, huh? Okay, here's a Twitch playground. Download a zip. And now what's what's the newest in downloads? Uh, Twitch playground. Well, that's good because that's what we want. Uh, MDCD Playground. And I know most people, by the way, uh, capitalize the first letter of a directory, but not the whole directory name. Um, so if you want to follow that convention, that's fine. I do not follow that convention. Okay. And here, yes, awesome. I didn't even touch VCLib. So we're in good shape here. No clue, never listen to the lyrics. Guess that's a pro when you're not native. Told the joke that your ex-girlfriend likes difficult math problems was not funny for them. Maybe I messed it up. See, I don't think the words hard and difficult are synonyms. Uh, um, well, wait a minute. Yeah, I mean, are they? I, I mean, in German? I don't know. Difficult, because we can use hard to mean difficult or firm. Um, but in Germany, I think those are two separate words. Also, as you pointed out, no one in Germany ever laughs or smiles. So, you know, maybe they enjoyed it, like, at a deep, um, deep level somehow. Um, but they wouldn't want to, you know, didn't want to, like, show any emotion. Okay, let's go ahead and download this guy. Oh, I told it in English. Uh, that might be the pro Yeah, I mean... You know, Germans speak pretty good English, and, and all Europeans do, actually, for the most part. Um, but, I mean, really, the, the plan here is to get the world to speak German, not English. I mean, I'm pretty sure in Germany they're like, yeah, one day those Americans will speak German. 
Of course, they would say that in German, not in English, because that would be really stupid. But, um, but you know, I, again, I think that they're sort of using English as a temporary language until, you know, they, they go for shot number three. Third time's the charm. Yep, I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, you know, if I'm, I'm always so glad. Oh, wow, Twitch data server zip part. So this is enough crap that it's going to take some time to actually download. Um, and this might be because I actually have a pretty big file here. Let's go ahead and do this one then, which is Twitch uh, star map. That's kind of a nice thing to have. Download. And we'll go ahead and download this one as well. And we'll get to them in the order that determined by, uh, I don't know, it'll be determined by something. Uh, so we don't need this. We don't, we've, uh, we, I guess once we started the download, we're fine. So, All right, let's see if anybody is ready. Data server. Oh, now they're all ready. Star map, data server, and zip. Uh, let's go ahead and do star map. I know it's not in order, but I'm trying to do them from oldest to newest. Because we just did playground, and now we can do star map. Actually, I don't... Okay. I might be wrong about what I just said. Okay, so there we are. We have the, the libs in question. Let's see if there are... There probably are different. And, and the, the... However, it might be that all the differences are unidirectional. Which, if that's the case, we don't need to deal with it. Okay. Plus, plus, plus. Plus, plus, plus. Uh-oh. Minus, minus, minus. Plus, plus, plus. Okay. So it looks like for the most part, this is just going to be a lot of plussing. Um, so that, that's not too bad. And then we'll come look at it again. Meld a little melt for me. Okay. So this is a... Oh, wow, this is a ton of crap. Uh, and yes, we want to merge. And... Which one has the... Okay, this one has the array, right? So, this is correct. This one also does that correct. Files are identical! Why are you telling me that? Um, let's see. Let's see what diff minus u says. Oh. Oh, vector multiply and vector add. So there is more down here. Oh, that's why. There's this crap down here. That needs to go over there. Files are identical. It's time to party, Arnold. And by the way, Arnold Schwarzenegger is Aust Austrian, not German. Although, I think a Germany... Um, Austria was part of Germany at some point, maybe. Or Hungary. I don't really know these European countries. They, they have a lot of funny names. And so now, because they're identical, of course, they're not going to hurt us like that. Let's see if we change BC lib itself. Um, again, I don't think we did, but you know, you never know. Good, we did not. So we're done with star map, and we're done with tripulation, playground, star map, and waypoints. Uh, Gwen Stefani, that is the singer of Hollaback Girl. Yes, very, very true. Few times I've been around that block, ain't no Hollaback Girl. Okay. So now we're going to do OSM leaflet, I think. Yeah. Yeah, OSM leaflet. So we're going to do MDCD, OSM leaflet. Move tilde downloads, Twitch. Nope, copy. We want to keep a copy there. OSM leaflet. The latest version is 2. Put it down here. Unzip the mother. And... Yep, okay. So the first thing we do is between... Okay, that's really bad, but actually I meant to do it between the staging. <laughs> and... And one thing to watch out for, some cases I actually put a uh, BC Live staging at the top level. Um, oh. Oh yeah, there, there's, there's some issues here. A lot of it's going to be adding in one direction, but I, I do see some, some issues here uh, that we're going to need to deal with. Uh, in particular, I think in this case, we, um, 
I added some constants correctly to bclib by creating my own namespace. Um, so to do this is probably, so this is actually the one that has all the good stuff in it. Let's go ahead and give, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Vector multiply, okay, good, that's good stuff. And there's a little bit more here. Uh, seriously? Wow. That's really not an addition. Okay, so what's interesting here is that not, we have no more green stuff, but let's take a look here. Okay. Um, right. So what I did here is I redefined these constants that I was defining in a library, which is bad, and redefined them in bclib, which is the correct way to do it, but it's also more of a, excuse me while I die. Um, it's, it, this is the correct way to do it here. This is the right way. Unfortunately, it's more of a pain in the ass, but I think I need to learn that. So we are going to go ahead and do that. And and I think we are going to, oh, constant pi equals math pi. Seriously? Um, I mean, Oh, I see. I changed that here uh, b to use MathPy directly. So I think these are bad lines. And that extra line here, the, just a comment, that's good. Uh, okay, so now let's see what the differences still are. Um, Mercator lat limit. What the hell? Oh, do I need to save them? Yeah. Okay. Okay, once more. 80 lines still to go. I'm not happy. Um, let's go to line 89, which I guess is the next interesting line. Uh, for some reason. Oh! Yeah, we want the commented versions of console log. Uh, we don't want to be console logging unless we have to. Okay, what else we got? Oh, are these all going to be like console logs? Piece of crap. Yeah, always want the commented version of a console log. To do. Um. I actually do need to document that. And this is the... Okay, hang on. This has more than one change, though. So, is the only difference here... No, I'm, I'm happy to get rid of this comment, actually. Uh, let's see what we're doing here. These are both fear to XYZ, and I'm pretty sure this is the better version, because it returns an array it does. And this version does not return an array. So we're going to go ahead and go with uh, the this version and this version. Okay. Good deal. Now let's see. And I think this is the same thing for uh, x, y, z, to sphere. We know this version is better, so it wins. Okay, and in this case, we want the console logs commented out. Okay, am I close to getting identical? Ta-da! Yay! So we're saving them both. Maybe I'll just leave meld. I don't know if I can leave meld running. I don't know if it'll do the right thing. Okay. No diffs between the staging, but in this case, I think we saw some diffs between the BC libs, which might just be moving functions around for motherfucking wait that's too many lines all right hang on oh maybe i don't have a bc lib here 
Okay. And let's look at the one in BC Git. What the hell? Why are they so different? Oh, wow. Something rotten has happened in the state of Denmark. Okay. To the extent that we need this to happen, I, I'm using diff minus u, right? Why am I getting this this weirdness? These <sighs> All right, there is a there is a little option we have minus d minimal. Find the smallest set of changes, which apparently is still really big. Um, I don't get it because these look like. I think it's gotten confused somewhere. There's so much extra crap in one of these um, that it doesn't know how to deal with it. So we, we probably need to do a little bit of a... Um, okay, and I did find a better way to do this. Um, uh, I think in this one I actually just clear bclib as an object. No, I do not. Okay, hang on. Oh, f double fudge! I've moved this to bclib staging now. That is... Sucky? I don't know. Is it? Um, so what am I going to do here? I'm pretty sure I no longer want this... Well, no, I do want it in BC. <sighs> okay, well... Let's go ahead and start moving some functions from BC lib staging to BC... Li which we should have done anyway, by the way. I mean, that is... Uh, the staging has really become way too big and powerful for its own damn good. So let's go ahead and move some of this staging crap. Um, and I don't even know why I've, I've been... I, I, just because it's so much easier to put something in staging and not bother to change it. Um, just realized I'm mixing. Yeah, it is bad. Um, so here we don't want this, but instead we want this and we want this. Uh, where I redefine my own little math functions. Um, and it is probably bad, but we're going to stop doing it. Um, I don't know why I deleted one line, because now let's see what the difference is between... Uh, that was interesting. Now let's see what the difference is here. Okay, some of these will remain, obviously, but... Okay, this actually has some good changes in it. We need to look at the, those. Um, am I running meld? I don't think so. I think I... Ugh, I'm running it 10 billion times. Um, so let me bring up... Have I... Did I not kill off my old instances of meld? Um, reload! Be reloaded. Okay. So these actually might be important changes now. So here we definitely do want to add our own constants called bclib. And then... Yeah, let's look at the uh, diff minus u again. Now this is where it could be actually helpful. To do find a better way to store constant as a lib constant. Oh, I need to save these to either control S should this can go bye bye. Does control S save it does apparently. Control S is apparently a shortcut to just saving them both. JavaScript module oh. So this is just a spacing issue, so why is it showing up here? 
Dude, diff minus you supposed to ignore frickin... Oh, it still thinks we're off by, like, a line somewhere. So it thinks this line's been removed and this line's been added. You piece of crap. Um... So let's let's take a look. Let's see what that's going, what the, where that's happening. Okay, so somewhere we have the number. Those those are okay. So let, let's see why I'm, I'm doing this. This is the um, number prototype. By the way, it's a bad idea either way. So I probably shouldn't have done it. Period. But okay, those are on the same fucking line, dude. I don't know what your problem is. Line 32. So why are you telling me that's a, a new minus one line, add one line? Uh, and line 32. All right, whatever. We'll use the version that has fewer spaces. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of suspicious now that something is really wrong here. Oh, well, I need to save both of them. I guess, I guess control S only saves the one you're, like, hovering over or something. Okay, and there's still lots of lines here, so something's very wrong. Some of these are actually good, good conversions, but this one is not. Oh. All right, convert string template... I think that's the last of the 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 changes that are not really changes, but for some reason it thinks they are changes. So we want the version without spaces. All right. Now, tell me what I actually need. Okay, so figure out why that doesn't work. I don't care. Um. I, oh, I'll get rid of the diff minus d, I guess. But I mean, still. Um, okay, that one we fixed, but I haven't really... Why am I getting context here? I don't want lines of context. Hmm. Am I, am I using diff? In, no, it is, it is the original diff. Um, and I'm not using UWR, so hang on. Minus W is, well, that's not really important. Oh, no, it's minus little W. Ignore all white space. Okay, good. Uh, minus U does what? Wait. Oh, wow. I really effed that up. I meant to do diff, diff minus W, not diff minus U. U is what gives me context. I don't want context. Okay, there we go. That is much, much better. Um, so, I go, let's go ahead and save this one. And that should do it, actually. Un unless we're very, very tight. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, um, so all of the additions are from this side. And I thought I'd already made them. Be saved, my friend. All right, hang on a sec here. Um, okay, uh, what, that's kind of funky. What did I meld on? I mean, maybe I melded on the wrong thing. Oh, hang on, let me see if meld is still running. Okay, it's not. It just runs a bunch of processes when it is running, but it does die nicely when it needs to. Alright, let's take a look at these two things that I've just... Diff minus W, dumbass. Talk to myself. Alright, something... Well, let's look at the staging ones. Maybe that's the one we need to look at first. Okay. All right, well, we'll fix the staging one, I guess, first, but um, that's 
something is rotten here. Something is not going well. And, well, figure it out after we fix staging. I mean, we will attempt to figure it out after we fix staging. We probably will not succeed in figuring it out. Okay. So this is clearly the better version. We d it is probably bad. And now are we... Oh, I guess I saw something. Oh, I need to save these. But first... Why the flipping hell... Okay, now they're identical. Um... God damn it. Okay. Now, I think the bad thing we were doing earlier, which we still need to continue doing, is we need to look at the difference between the BC Lib versions of these two things. Um, I think these are different enough that this is really not a, um, this is not a uh, trivial thing. So let's take a look here. Whoa! Yeah, because Mel doesn't take a W or if it does it. No. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the real differences using diff minus W. Okay, convert this. So line 239 is where we're kind of starting the fun. That's where we learned to dance. Um, tile zoom value, maybe. Fra it looks like this one's better. But let's. Uh-oh. Um, actually, it looks like this version's better. Oh, uh, okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, am I in the situation where one of them is documented better? Well, this is definitely de better documentation. We can, we can do that clearly. And we can clearly say input object, that's not a problem. Output object is fine. Oh, but hang on. Projection if... Okay, so we need both of these. So I need to do a little line here so these don't match anymore. Now if I do this, will this, like, add to the top? No, it doesn't. Undo. Alright, so we're just going to add this line here. Okay. Uh, and we'll delete this line here, which is pointless. Okay, and then we do want uh, the input object to be described better, but it has to occur... Oh no, this has its own um, closing brace here, so no, no error checking. And we end this comment here. It'll be interesting to see if this library breaks completely after I've done all this. So why are these lines different? They're not, right? Possibly fractional value of tile integer x is left. Okay, th those are identical. I think something weird's happened now. All right, let's see what diff minus w tells me. Oh, okay, so one of them gives much better instructions. Somewhere. Uh, I guess that we're looking at line 239-ish? So maybe we already fixed it for this one. And now we need to go back here. Okay, so these are better instructions. These are better instructions. These are probably better instructions down here. Um. Oh crap, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Okay. Okay, this is ugly. Now, the, the, the thing I was doing wrong here is I was, mer I was modifying the input object, which is bad. So this is a, a better rewrite of that, 
where I, where I um, create my own object. So that part is good. Um, so, but do I actually want, I don't want to set west long and east long, I guess, anymore. That's probably okay. Oh, fudge. So now we have, like, all right. Um, so this is a natural conflict. Uh, th because this says if object projection is zero, but we're using degrees here, and we're using radians here. Um, well actually, I guess I guess it's okay. This is correct then. We will have to get rid of the projection uh, variable. Whoa, fudge, 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 fudge! We can't do that. Um, actually, I think this is okay. So this is. Um, Mercator, yes, and if it's degrees, we return something else. I think we're okay there. I think we're okay there. The only kind of nice thing here is I, I give it some default values, but I am almost thinking that's not necessary anymore. Okay, problem solved. Uh, I'm going to regret that, but I have Git. I have we have Git logs. We can do it. Uh, okay, now let's see what's still left. Serve line 296. I think this is going to be very similar to this. And I think this guy's going to... The left side, it looks like it's going to be better. Nope. So are those lines just... Well, we said 296, so those lines might just be different by spaces. Yep, and here we are again... Um, Why does this function not have a name? Dude. Are we inside like a huge freaking comment? Um, or did I just F this up somehow? Okay, but this is the correct version because it creates a new object. And I think we're gonna lose the equi-rectangular projection we need to get it back, but um, I think for right now we're going to have to just get rid of it. Okay, and this problem solved. Okay, let's see how that helped out. If we fix that a little bit more. Yeah, yeah that was really good. Okay, so the files are now identical up to spaces, which, uh, you know, uh, uh, Meld cares about, but we don't. All right, staging, staging. Okay, fantastic. So now we remember the goal and go back to the one that is even better. Uh, sorry, we go back to a different project. Uh, LS minus LAT downloads. Um, I think the only one left is data server. Oh, what am I doing? Twitch data server dot. Unzip it. And yep, I do have I do have a uh, so let's look at the staging. Um, and I suspect the version um, so with almost complete with a few uh, with a few errors, uh, most of it uh, it's actually pretty bad. All right, let's meld away. Hey, Gavalt. Okay. Clearly, this is better. Um, this is better. The right side is probably going to be better throughout. Mm. 
these functions are quite different. Data to ELT number. Hmm. Do I even have data to ELT number in here? I should. I think, I think, um, oh dear. Alright, stand by, stand by, stand by. Please stand by. Alright, let's look in BC Lib staging here. Oh, that's where we are. Uh, to ELT number? Okay. Let's look at BC staging. I love having files with the same name. Can't be avoided, though. Um, data server. Lib. BC lib staging. And do we have a function here called, let's see what kind of function. Mm -hmm. Data to elk num. Let's see if we have that here. Data to... Wow! Okay, let's see what this does. That sounds exciting. Alright. Uh, doesn't say what it does. Input object, the data value to convert to element number. The data value of the zeroth row, the data value of the last row, plus one half. The difference between adjacent row values. Uh, if set, bound it between floor, set the floor of the value, ceiling, if set, return ceiling of value. The floating point value where the data can be found. Well, that sounds pretty exciting. Why the hell do I have, like, all these new lines here? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're good. Alrighty. So, what we're going to do here... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, where am I? Um, this looks like something to get control, so it's the wrong one. Data server, lib, EC lib, staging. Okay. Yeah, maybe we should stop meld here. Um, until we're done. Okay. Let's find a place to put this wonderful function. Um, I think we can put it above... Yeah, we can put it... Okay. File reverted. Okay, let's put it up over here. And I realize it's going to be missing from the uh, this one now, but that's actually okay. Wait. Uh, do I have this function twice? Oh my god, no, there's elt, elt to num data. Oh, wow. Two good functions for the price of one. Alrighty, so let's do this from here. We are, uh, we're going to fix the top line here. Data to elt number. Elt number to data. Oh, that's actually a lot easier than we have here. Um, I get data from file. Pretty sure we don't have that here either. We don't either. And I hope I didn't lose my, uh, good, didn't lose my little pasty thing. So what the hell I was doing here? Uh, okay, I think we're just going to do this one for right... Well, and I said I was going to fix that, and I didn't. So this, copy over to here, cut and paste. Okay, fantastic. All right, so now let's see what the differences are. Um, well, I probably shouldn't have. Okay, let's just let's just let's just look at the differences. Now, this thing has a huge, uh, big green area here, which we took out, and we're going to put back in because that's what we do. Okay, now I'm going to save this guy. Uh, now we're going to do diff minus W, not U. Um, and the console logs are shouldn't be that bad, so. I'll just find console log. Okay. Um, oh yeah, it'd be nice to find that we're uh, you know you guys actually differ on it. Okay. Apparently that is not a concern. Right. 
comment it out, comment it out. Flip in. Why, oh why. Okay. Getting closer. Uh, okay. Okay. One of them still has a con this thing in here, which you should not be having. And I'm sure it's you. And I'm sure... Oh, there we go. Um, okay, yeah, this is good. We want, we want you, we want you to have this version. Um, and this version. Okay, you're good. Um, console log with two. Ryan 134. Okay, this is kind of stupid here. To do, to do, always add a to do. Fear of the XYZ. Um, I'm pretty sure we have a better version here. Right, because this actually returns the array, so that's good. We want that. Um, and XYZ to spherical, we also want that, so this is the better version. Uh, the commented versions are always better. And what is this little thing you want to add here? Two lines of nothingness. Yeah, I think we can deal with not having that. And we want this version. The two files are identical. Oh. Two files are not identical yet. There's a little bit of garbage here that it wants to add. What? You're missing a new line, that's all? Oh, no, you have a little bit more here. Oh yeah, the two functions that we added. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, so now we should have no difference at all between them. Now, let's cringe our hands together and see what happens if we do bclib.js. God damn it. Oh, fudge, 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 fudge. And did I actually have functions in bclib that I moved from bclib stage in? Okie dokie. That might not have been cool. Let's go ahead and do this anyway. Okay. So this is the better one. We know that. There's a whole bunch of little tiny changes here, which were okay. Huh. What the hell is this? Oh. Oh, this is the whole, um, looks hideous, but... It's the function to data element. It's the new things I just added. So we'll go ahead and add those. Not a problem. And I think we decided this version is better because yeah, it doesn't. It 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 lets you. Um, it creates a new object instead of modifying the object you send it. So yep, yep, yep. Uh, yep. I think we have lost the equi rectangular uh, conversion in this little mess here. And return ret is correct. And again, this version is um, better. Yep, it is better. So there, take that, take that, take that. And I think, again, this is just from that function. I, I think this is going to break terribly, but whatever. And return value. Really? Just really? You're unhappy? Really? The files are identical. Alrighty. Um... 
Okay. So I think we are done. I'm not sure there's nothing else in. Um, this is actually some good stuff we added here because I think um, Twitch waypoints, math min here. Yeah, yeah, we're done. Uh, because these are actually some interpolation is actually really really useful for what we're we're doing something else. Um, uh, so let's go over here. I do want to see what changes have been made. Um, okay, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Yeah, I'm only skimming, but it looks okay-ish. And let's see what's been changed. Quite a bit has been changed in staging mode, I think. Okay. Before I... I'm going to push this to get as a safety. So pushing it from the other machine. Can't see what I'm doing. Which is good. I'm doing horrible things to people at the same time. Okay. So I pushed it to get. And now... Let's see if... Um, now what's interesting here is this, this REPL is breaking anyway. So... Um, so we have like lots of bad things already happening. Um, I mean, the thing to do here is to go to the latest one, Twitch waypoints. Um, we need to re-upload these libraries, or or you know we can just wait forever for it to do this. Okay. So I'm tempted now to run this with um, uh, just locally. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. Um, 2109, we have uh, waypoints is what we're doing today. And the only thing we don't have... Oh, we do have the... Right. And these, these libs are actually the most updated ones. Because if I do diff... If I, if I, if this m doesn't work, I'll be very sad. What the hell? Okay. Maybe because I made other changes to it. So let's go ahead and go here into lib. Let's remove the two libraries. And instead link the correct versions of them. And watch things fail miserably. Oh. input output error really but you got them here uh why can't you link did i just i did a remove right be gone be gone okay I should be able to link you, Matt, bastards. Okay, and one reason this might be happening is because this is actually on another machine. Um, but what, what bugs me is that it, it still does it. So I guess I can copy that. That's not as good, though, because if either of those things ever change, um, it, the changes won't be reflected here. Why didn't you ask me if you wanted to... Oh, fuck. I didn't want to do that. I just copied one library over the other. <laughs> I'm funny. I'm going to have to do a reset on BC. Uh, I'm going to have to do a checkout on BC lib. Sorry, I totally effed that up. I think they're both cool now. Um, oh, good. They are both clean now. How about copying them both over here? That's what I wanted to do. Update the library. The library. Uh, library be updated now. I, I was going to try to do it with symbolic link, but we'll, we'll do it with copy. That's fine. 
Uh, and so now we should just be able to say um, Firefox file, which is an alias I have, index.html. So here we go. Uh, and since the only output is really to console log, we will have to look at the console log. Alrighty! Almost instant breakage. Um, script.js degree is not defined. Okay, I can fix that. VSLib line one illegal character. Line freaking one. Library, I get it. I get it. Library. <laughs> Looks like library, but with my name in it. Okay, so this was BCLib, and I think I need to do an RR because it's. Okay, that's clearly not what I'm looking for. A bunch of null characters. So let me take another look at BCLib. That looks a lot better. Um, okay, so why the hell are we f getting fucked up here? Yeah. Might be a binary file. What the fuck? Dude, now we're just getting... What does BCLib staging look like? Okay. Let's try this one more time. Copy that here. No, I meant less. Cool. Something has gone fucking wrong here. Alrighty. Now, copy. Now let's do a less on it. Wow. Something has really gotten fucked up here. Give me a few seconds. Gachibasa! Yeah. Back at ya. Okay, I'm going to go fix this on the uh, machine where this is actually uh, secure shelling from. I think that we've made, I've made some sort of terrible error here. Uh, which hopefully I can fix, although I'm much better at making mistakes. And okay. Um. So I will just copy on the other from the other machine. Now, if this still doesn't work, we are in. Trouble. Okay. Um, I think I might have broken the secure shell mount. Um, so. All right, I um, don't know how I managed to break the secure shell mount. <whistles> okay, hang on. But you know what, let's just, let's see if we are still mount, we are. We're gonna kill it, or we're gonna pseudo kill it. Okay, now we're gonna remount. And I guess while we're at it, we can, we can, we can fix startup because now we're not mounted. So startup.shell. Yes, I want to reread from disk. Um, so that fixes the time. Then X message, remember to push git on other machine. That, that should be fairly helpful. Yeah, except I've already done it, so not an issue right now. Okay. Nice and cozy. We've rebooted, so to speak. What, 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 what? Okay, not, there we go. No, I'm sorry, we're in waypoints, not data server today. Okay. 
This is what might be a binary file. So something I've done is very terrible. <sighs> to the point that it is breaking... If it's breaking stuff on my other machine, I'm going to be very, very upset. Alrighty. Oh! I see what's wrong. I actually don't see what's wrong, but I, I do see what's wrong. Uh, I w needed to be in the lib directory. There are two different versions of this. And, um, oh wow, one of them actually tried to make a sim link and it succeeded. And that is terrible for a uh, secure shell because it's just not going to work. Alright, so I need to remove this. Yep, copy. Now, it'll still not work, but... Yep. Not going well. Now over here I've removed... Okay, good. So I've, I've removed the uh, JS... Uh, the two JS libraries here. Um, okay, that one's fine. And for some reason... Okay. Let me see what's going on here. I think we tried to make Java bclib Java bclib.js a um, a sim link, and it kind of worked, but kind of not. Let's see what we're doing here. Okay. Now let's see if it got removed on the other side. It did. Now let me try copying it from... Yeah, something's fucked. Um, uh, how do we fix this? Well, one way we can fix this, of course, is to... Um, Yeah, we could create a new directory called lib. Um, no, wait. We already have a directory called lib. Sorry. We can rename this directory lib2, which might be forever broken. Go into lib. Copy the stuff from the other one that still works. Um, which is math and turf. And then copy the um, correct libraries from git over here. And I think now we will be fine. I say that. What the hell? Okay, I'm getting suspicious now. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Stand by. Stand, please stand by. Okay, it looks like BC Libit actually is a uh, uh, bunch of zeros. I'm sure that's a mistake in copying somewhere. Uh, I will check out the, uh, the most recent version, which hopefully is not that. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, we're all happy now. So maybe the problem wasn't with um, lib2 after all. Copy bc lib staging and bc git bc lib js here. Yes? Yes. Okay, dokie. 900 billion trillion time is the charm. There we go. All right. Now, let's try that again. Unreachable code after statement. 
and degree is not defined. And I'm okay with that, actually. Um, see, now the problem here is this code is coming from Replit. So if I change it here, it's not going to get changed on Replit. So it's going to be kind of, kind of a pain in the ass and change it in two places. Degree. Oh, good, it appears in multiple places, so this really fucks me over. Um, Alright, well, it's going to be bclib.degree, and there's a way to multi-change them. But, um, oh, fudge, I can't do that here either. Okay. Okay, okay. Just make a note to myself to re-upload script.js after I've tweaked it uh, here on my local machine. Re-upload script.js to waypoints in addition to new libs. Okay. I think I can do that. So I will make the changes locally if I can find freaking Emacs. There it is. Um, and then we'll push those changes back up. Uh, I guess we don't need lib. It's script.js that it's complaining about. Degree... And now I can do my Emacs magic, bclib.degree. There, I think that's it. Changing code in two places is a sure way to make mistakes, I agree. So I'm gonna change them, I forgot I could do an upload. I'm gonna change them locally, upload them to Replit. And that should be fine. I don't know why my tab crashed, we don't need it, we don't need it, we don't need it. No. I'm cleaning up a little bit as we get to the uh, um, this thing. All right, let's try it one more time. Mother of F. It worked. It worked. I mean, I don't think there's any errors here at all. Wait, how do I scroll up? This is not all of the code. Okay, so it worked. Is it still running? No. Oh, it is still running. Holy crap. Okay, so that didn't help at all. Um... Wow. Okay, well, you know what we're gonna do? I mean, we've already done this, but we're going to do this again, is we're going to confirm it's the vector add that's effing it up. Um, okay. Uh, we're going to make sure it's the vector add that's messing it up by removing the key portion of vector add, which is now in somewhere. Um, careful. Ah! I'm going to have to recopy it because... Um, you know what, actually, let's see if we can, um, now V3 isn't defined, but I know that's, let's see what this does. Running, running, did I, did I need to clear the console here? I should have, right? Clear, clear, you want to clear. There is garbage. Okay, we're still getting... Are we still running the frickin' other thing? I said to stop the script. Alright. We're gonna break the frickin' tab. So there. Okay. So now we're gonna try cd dot dot. Firefox file. One more time. Coming in. V3, okay, so I can't, I can't even fucking, that's actually, that's my bad, that's my bad. Also, I should probably line these up so I can get to them a little bit better. So let's bring this guy down a little bit, this guy down a little bit, and Emacs is always on top. So, I'm going to let V3 equal poop, 
but apparently that went much faster. Unreachable code after statement, but you're done, right? That's the end of this. Yeah, because I can... Nice. So now I can trash this. Okay. Alrighty. So I guess our thing to figure out is why it takes so long to add vectors. Um... Let's just do it inline and see what happens, since we can't really change the library code without having to change it everywhere. V1 map. No, I can't quite do it that way. I need an array. Huh. Is it an array? Creating the array should not be that hard. Okay, I'm just going to copy some code from BC Lib Staging. Um, so I'm going to bring this function here locally, uh, which I can't do because uh, it's already defined, but I can certainly do it like this. Now, what if I hard coded this to be three? Be that it's a three dimensional vector. Let's see what this does. Run, run, run. What, 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 what? Syntax redeclaration of. Oh, yeah. Because I declared it to be poop earlier. So, no, we want to see what happens now. Alrighty. Is it done or is it still really slow? Nope, it's still it's still going. Okay. Yeah, it's still going because this little thingy is still going like this. Uh, and it's going to be that pop up in just a second. But before we get there. Um, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. We as well call this vector adds too to make sure that we're here. Alrighty, so um Stop script. You stop a script uh, for me now. It's still going though. And I think if I'm really clever here I can say undo close tab. Uh like over here and get back the same tab, but not in running mode. Yeah, but except I probably should have fixed this. Okay, so let's do that. Empty for loop. I did not... So reload. No, oh, fuck you. Reload. God fucking damn it. So we're gonna cut... We're gonna... Close this window. Oh yeah. Close tab. Stop it, kill the tab, bring up a new tab, and go to the same page. This time, though, without the addition actually occurring. Ah. Interesting. Do I need a let i here? So I'm not using the global i? I mean, it shouldn't matter, but... Oh! Fuck, 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 fuck. See, the problem here is I define i in a for loop, then I define i again here in a for loop, and every time it returns something, it gets back over here. This value of i gets reset every time. And since 3 is not bigger than math times 2 pi, I've created pretty much an infinite loop here. So I am an idiot. Someone clip that, please. I am a complete idiot. So my biggest, my problem here was not redeclaring, because I need this to be a private i, private to vectors add too, uh, instead of a public i 
like it is, uh, like it was here. So I'm 99% sure that's the problem. Let's 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 go crazy, man. Um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna kill this tab, create a new tab, do this, and voila, three billionths of a second, and only two objects like I expected. So. I'm a fucking moron. That is that is inexcusably bad coding. Um, and I will go ahead and change it in BC libs the real BC lib staging, which is the one that is yeah here. Um, three or four letters change everything. Yeah, it does happen. Shouldn't happen. It does happen. And now I am so distraught and depressed that. Um, and it's exact, almost exactly two hours when I hit that error. God damn it, I'm stupid. I can't believe... Uh. Wow. I mean, just wow. Um, okay, so... Um, that's pretty stupid of me. Um, okay, I'm going to try muting the stream again. This time it better work. Um, I think we can continue for a little bit more. I was going to call it, but I think uh, after such a bad issue, I would like to continue a little bit to end on a note that's not sucky. Okay, if this doesn't mute, you're going to hear me blowing my nose. If this does mute, you won't hear that. So, muting, I'll be back in like 10 seconds. Okay, if you did not hear me blow my nose, I have successfully learned how to uh, mute my stream. I'm so happy. If you did hear me blow my nose, then I have not successfully learned how to mute my stream. Coding is inherently... It is, but I mean, this is the kind of error that... Um, I mean, this is the kind of error that bugs... This is a namespace error. Um, and I should be very sensitive. I mean, I should know stuff like this. You know, and in, in many languages, um, if you don't declare a local variable, it uses the global value. Um, and in this case, um, you know, we had a global, and by the way, so I made two mistakes here, really. One is I should not have, um, I should have made this variable local, because, um, although that might not have helped, actually. Um, but the big problem, of course, is that I'm making... Um, that I didn't make the inner variable public. Okay, I'm not done beating myself up yet, but we do have other things to do. So um, we will defer my self-chastisement to a later point. Perhaps uh, I will have to pay a woman to do that, but that's that's a whole different thing. Okay, so we're going to return to uh, Replit. We're going to upload these new versions of these everythings. Um, uh, BC lib star.js and oh yeah whatever we're doing today this um, new copy of uh, stream uh, what it, uh, script dot js um, <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna copy them to temp for easier uploading yes yes oh yes okay so let's go over here back to replit we will apologize to replit for being stupid and we will delete. We're not really going to apologize to Replit. We're going to delete this guy. What the hell? Now, unless someone is using my very nice sharing thing and is just putting crap in here, um, this should not be here. All right, well, I guess we have to reload it again. Reloading. Oh, shoot. I think when there's no script.js file... Oh, no, that's fine. I thought maybe it was unhappy because it wants a script.js file. Okay. You. No soup for you. And you. No soup for you either. Okay. 
Now we're going to do some uploads. Um, BC lib JS. Yep. And I'll move them to the right folders in just a sec. BC lib staging. Yep. And finally, script.js, which we do not need to rename because it's already in the right place. Okay. This guy here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, move this guy here. And before we run it, not me. Um, okay, don't know where not me came from, but I think it's, I said something stupid, but I always say something stupid. Okay, now let's not kill, uh, nice, see that's what's supposed to happen. That's what's supposed to happen. Um, is that what's supposed to happen? Seems like more stuff than I wanted in there, but I think that's okay. Um, so now we need to get rid of vectors too, and, um, and just do this as vectors add, which I have changed, and we have uploaded, um, uh, we have uploaded, uh, the changes to, to Replit. Hello, real ABC. What kind of WMD is that? I like kind of this appearance. This kind of appearance. Okay, so you said it right. Hello, real ABC. I don't know who you are. Um, I assume you're not really AB. Well, you could be an ABC. I don't know what the... Oh, WM meaning window manager. DE meaning something else. The window manager is FVWM2. I don't know what the word DE means, except it is the country code abbreviation for Germany. Uh, ich bin ein Berliner. That's all I've got. So if you real ABC want to say something else, uh, if you want to explain what DE means, I could probably help you. But this is FVWM, too, as the window manager. Desktop environment. Um, I, I think none. I think that I managed to install CentOS and remove all of the, uh, the desktop environment stuff. Uh, so I don't think this is GNOME. I don't think this is KDE. I think this is really just X11 with FVWM2 on top of it. But if there's a way to check, I mean, if you look at like, um, if you do like a process list here, um, you won't see any of the GNOME or KDE processes here. The only thing that's running is X11. But I don't really know what I'm talking about. So, so okay, so that is a, seems good. Okay, that's the name of that uh, thingy there. All right, did I just run this or did I forget? Oh, let's run this. Gorgeous, very happy. Um, so that was a hell of a debugging tour that makes me feel stupid. But now let's get back to our task at hand. Uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find waypoints along this great circle. Um, and the way we're doing that is uh, we found the cross product of the two points. We've used the cross product to find the perpendicular vector in the plane of the two points that's perpendicular to one of them. We call that Mr. Perp. And then uh, we, we, we turn it into a unit vector so we don't have any stretching going on. And now we're trying to do something very simple, which is uh, take, the, uh, take the two normal vectors, multiply them you know, by sine and cosine. Um, yeah, cosine, sine. And then add them to get a position on the circle, which is a three-dimensional coordinate, which Oh, let me go to the um, let me go to the testing crap in here that says uh, that says you know prints out vector add. We have fixed the problem. Okay, let's go back over here. Okay. Um. Okay. So now let's just console log v three. Oh, actually, I have this. I had this really clever um, way of doing it all in one um, one go, and I'm going to do that again. So hang on, because now that the problem was not with my um, not with this code, it was with some other code. We can resume this. So yes, console log 
we don't need to end this. There's no comment there anymore. And if this works, I'm going to get rid of the V1, V2, V3 crap. Because we don't need it. All right, go for it. Didn't seem quite as fast, but I'm, I'm going to let it, that go. Okay, so this is much better. Um, yeah, so this just adds them all together and uh, logs it. So now the question, of course, is um, what have we done all this crap for? Uh, and the answer is we have this point in three dimensions now. We want waypoints as latitudes and longitudes. We don't want waypoints as three-dimensional points. So now... We convert these x, y, z coordinates to spherical coordinates. Um, mm -hmm. So x is point 0, y is point 1, and z is point 2. Um, I wrote x, y, z this, so I should know what it returns, but I don't. So I will, I, I mean, it returns like, oh, actually it returns, oh, yeah, yeah, hang on. Hang on. The res value should be an array that gives us, um, that gives us theta phi and r in the spherical coordinates. So let's say um, s point for spherical coordinate point. Let's console log that, and we're very close to what I wanted to do. XYZ to SPH is undefined. That's very sad. Oh, I once again have confused parentheses and brackets. That is a terrible habit of mine. Mathematica does it. I blame Mathematica. Okay. All right, not cool. So let's just see what the whole thing returns. And why... Is it, do I mean to say like dot ARR or something? Let's find out. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean to say dot .arr, sorry. Uh, the res is something else. So the dot .arr is the array of all three values. You will notice that, um, when I do this one more time, that all of the radiuses are one, or very close to one, because we have normalized our vectors. We do expect the radiuses to be one. Okay, so now what we want to do is, um, these are all nice numbers, but we, we are, you know, doing this uh, problem, by the way, which actually is uh, somebody else's problem. Um, in latitudes and longitudes in degrees. So, so we probably want these printed out in degrees. So what we can do here is, um, uh, well, I mean, we could do a lot here. We could actually probably just do, um, yeah, I think we, th this, th there's more than one way to do this, obviously, but, um, When you multiply it by degrees, it converts from uh, degrees to radians. Uh, we're going the other way, radians to degrees. So we'll say this and this. And then we want to print this out nicely like it's actually... Um, I think this is the convention I'm using. Uh, now, is this string interpolate? Am I doing this right? find out. Oh, no, 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 no. String interpreter, like this, and then inside here I can put um, something like this. I think that's wrong, though. Yep, D3 is not defined because I've fixed up all my libraries, and it's now BC lib degree the way God wants it. Yeah. That's... Let me, let me make sure it's still printing correctly. I'm, I'm sure I'm just using interpolation incorrectly. Oh. Mamma mia. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Sorry, because I, I, use, the, uh, I use the array value. It's 0 and 1. We, we don't have x, y, and z anymore. We could. If we didn't put this array here, we would have x, y, and z. Sorry. Theta, phi, and r. So I'm totally off. So now let's see if this works any better. 
Hey, we're starting to see some points here. So now what we want is... I think this is the correct way of doing string interpolation. Let's find out. Yes, it is! Awesome! Score one for the Gipper. I don't know who that is, but it's Ronald Reagan, actually. Okay, close parentheses. So now, let's see if we can print out latitudes and longitudes. Awesome. By the way, these are uh, these are longitudes. These are the latitudes, and clear. Oh, these are actually the whole. This is the whole circle. Um, which is good. Which is fine. Um. So now, if we were feeling really spiffy, we would try to put these uh, points on a map to see if it really does look like a great circle. We we need more points to do the whole circle, um, but we would put these on a map. Um, let's see, I'm not quite up to that yet, but um, let's see, I, I, I could limit this um, great circle to just between the two points that we have here, uh, which are determined from a file that is big in stations.js, but I don't want to look at it right now. Um, and that's not really hard to do. We could basically just say um, the the dot product of AV and BV would be the angle between them, uh, or would be the cosine of the angle between them. Or cosine that and then stop this thing here. It's sort of going to math 2 pi. It'll only go to the, uh, to the arc cosine of the, those values. So uh, let's see here. Um, let ang... And by the way, I do have another library, a different math library that I'm using, um, which is loaded in under mathmin.js, where they do have a lot of nice functions. And I might think about contributing to that library and adding some of my crap in there as well. Um, they probably won't let me contribute. I mean, they'll let me, you know, they'll let me obviously pull and push, but they won't accept my pushes because they suck. All right, that is a um, that is a preemptive preemptive suck there. Okay, and I guess at some point we should probably print out um, what objects A and B are, so we know what we're doing. Now we'll do that right here. We will console log N, which I'm almost sure is going to be correct in radians. In radians. Uh, all right. I don't know how much that is actually. Um, oh wow, these are these are pretty far away. Okay, I, I believe you. I believe Ang. Uh, and so now we're gonna say i is less than Ang, and i is equal to Ang over. Let's just get ten waypoints for right now because we're testing. See what this does. Okay. So our facility starting point is minus 118.277 to this, which, by the way, does show up here, as it's supposed to. And then our ending point here is in the middle of fucking nowhere. It's nowhere near minus 161. Not cool. Not cool at all. Unless I'm going in the wrong freaking direction. I'm going in the right direction. Uh, the last point should definitely be the same as this point here. And it should be minus 161, 59. So something is, or actually maybe it's not quite there, but closer, much closer than we are here. Um, so something terrible has happened. And something terrible has occurred. I'm not happy. Um, I guess the only question here is if we allow... See, this is actually going east. Um, and this is going south. And boy, is it going south. Um, and this is a... This is, these are radian measures. Alrighty.
Mm-hmm. I don't think I don't think this is the problem here. Um, the fact that I'm combining A V and not B V, I'm combining the the perpendicular vector, which is perp to plane unit. Yeah, that's the one. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what's going on. Um. So I'm guessing when they put in 2 pi, it was also the wrong answer. Okay, so we are going to um, figure out what happened here. We did divide them correctly. All right, well, when in doubt, console log everything. So let's console log the vectors to make sure that they came in okay. I could sort of tell where they are because by the way, JavaScript does not have a, a die function, but if you put in an instruction that it doesn't understand, it will stop there. So this is, this is effectively a die command without being a die command. Okay. So facility name, blah, 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 goes here. Y coordinate is here. Um, that's kind of strange because the... Uh, Y coordinate, oh no, that might be okay actually, and the Z coordinate is positive. So from here, okay, that 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 looks okay. I mean, honestly, I don't know where these points should be, uh, but this should have a higher Z value because it's a higher latitude. This should be closer to the the double origin than the, and and it looks like it is not actually. Um, but do I trust those values? Okay, well the next thing to do is to see if the points that we're spitting out, well actually, let's, let's see, okay. And here we're going to get a little bit clever and start actually labeling our console logs, uh, because uh, we're going to do a lot of them. And AV, BV, and then, so the thing I'm suspicious about now maybe is the perpendicular in plane uh, unit uh, vector that is per presumably perpendicular to both of AV and, B and BV, which we can easily test, of course, by taking the dot product. We'll call this PIP, perp in plane, and we will move our, and I, and I don't like doing this because people who are only watching the video, God, and there's none of them, are gonna think this is a real die command. I'm just going to put in the name of one of my favorite shows here instead. Um, okay. Yeah, we know the good places isn't defined. AVBV is this. And PIP is this. Um, no, actually, I'm sorry. This should be, this should be perpendicular to AV. Um... But it should be in the same plane as AV and BV, but it doesn't need to be perpendicular to AV. So let's take a look here. We'll bring up our friend Mathix again if I haven't killed it. There it is. I'll restart it because it breaks every time. Okay. Alrighty, so I want uh, AV, which is the first vector. Cut. I don't know if I can actually cut and paste it here. There's that sucker. Dot. Uh, the vector that claims to be perpendicular to it. Oh, that's not even close to perpendicular. That's very, very bad. Okay. So that might explain part of the problem. Uh, let me make sure that I got that quite right. Because there's, there's a zero here that shouldn't throw this off. But... Mathix is actually really not very good at this sort of thing. So, so we will give it another shot here. Um, and the other thing I suspect is it may not even have a, a vector norm length, which would be really bad. So we need a minus in front of this, but... I'm putting them all on one line so I could repeat them as necessary. Yep, that's not looking good. 
Well, let's see what the norm of the vector claiming to be. Um, this better be one. Okay. And this better be one. And I get the feeling it is not. Aha! Hello, hello, hello! High altitude, Chernokov. What weird numpy alternative are you using? It is Mathix. Uh, it is built on SymPy. Not NumPy, but SymPy. Um, and it is an attempt to uh, replicate Mathematica very poorly. Uh, sorry, it's an attempt to uh, replicate Mathematica, comma, but it does it very poorly. I don't even know why I use it. Um, because I, 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 well, I mean, I can't bring Mathematica here. I could, but then uh, people would not be able to follow along at home. What I really sort of should be doing is using um, Wolfram, not Wolfram Alpha, sorry, um, Wolfram Cloud, which is free, and you could pretty much do Mathematica in there. You could run the Wolfram language in there. I'm not crazy about it because even though it's free, it's not open source. Uh, so it sort of has that, uh, you know, you can use it, but do you really want to use it um, kind of thing going on. So it is Mathix, and I'm only using it very trivially here um, to, uh, to ch check to see that these values are what they're supposed to be. Although now that it occurs to me that, of course, um, I could just be do console logging norms and stuff here too. Okay, so uh, let's see. So right now I'm not going too good here. Uh, you could just use SymPy directly. Well, I hate Python, the language. Uh, I love Monty Python, and I'm neutral towards uh, the class of snakes known as pythons. Um, but I hate Python, don't want to use Python. Um, and, you know, I tried to learn, there's some other symbolic manipulator programs out there. I think, uh, uh, let's see, you could, yeah. Uh, fun, suffering, <laughs> it's more a question of not using Python. And I looked at some other uh, math programs. The best one, by the way, out there that isn't this one is GeoGebra, which actually does quite a bit of cool stuff. I think it's right here, uh, except it's not. Um, it does quite a bit of cool stuff. And I can use it when I like it, but it doesn't do symbolic manipulation. Um, I'm sure there's Perl scripts to do it. The nice thing about this is I'm so, I've been using Mathematica since like 1989, like version two. Um, so it's so much easier for me to, you know, write code that can be written in both Wolfram Cloud, Mathematica, and Mathix. Okay. Maxima, yes, Maxima was one of the things I looked at. It might even be on stream when I looked at it. Um, a lot of it is because I'm lazy. A lot of my code is already written in Mathematica, and like about 70 to 80 percent of it translates over to Mathix. So there's that. I can also write code in Mathix that I can later, when I'm off stream, go and run in Mathematica. If, you know, just to sort of push it a little bit. Or run in Wolfram Alpha. A Wolfram Cloud. Like, I gotta start saying Wolfram Alpha. Wolfram Alpha is a thing, but it's not Wolfram Cloud. Okay. So what the hell was I doing? Oh yeah. Let's see. So I guess the first thing we want to see is if this vector that we're saying is perpendicular to the plane really is perpendicular to the plane. Or if it's lying. If it's lying, that means whoever wrote the math uh, small lowercase library is a fucking sadist. But Python is an old language, too. Uh, are you going like, to say, like, someone invented Python and no one heard about it? Like, Ruby was, like, suppressed for 10 years. I thought Python's a pretty new language. I was under the impression that Python was created to annoy uh, everyone. Uh, because a language where white space, JavaScript is technically newer than, J than Python, you're saying? Uh, JavaScript, I remember when it came out, Netscript, it came out in the mid 90s. It was first called Netscript and it's gone through a billion iterations. Um, if Python is older than that, I guess the question would be, uh, Python is now the, like the world's most popular language. The question is, you know, when did it become like a known language as opposed to something like Algol or one of those h billions of languages that pre people write that no one ever hears about? You might be, and I'm tempted to um, do this. When was Python born? 
Oh, wow. No, you're right. It was conceived in the late 1980s, so it's probably... Implementation began in this... So this later than I used Mathematica. Um, but not by much. But I think it didn't really become like a really super useful language that people have started using until recently. I hadn't heard of it until um, it suddenly you know, boosted up and that uh, XKCD guy started saying how wonderful it is uh, and all that crap going on. Um, so it apparently hit some sort of real stride. JavaScript almost died out. I remember when it was like almost dead and then suddenly made a comeback. Um, but anyway, I hate Python. Uh, I, I guess it's old, not older than Mathematica, but still old. And at the same time, blah, blah, blah. And all right, let's take a look at this. And again, of course, I could be doing all of this in um, directly in, in, in JavaScript. But if I don't trust this library, then I actually have a good reason to do this in Mathix. Let me restart Mathix here real quick. So we're going to say A, the vector that is uh, supposedly perpendicular to the plane. Um, and I probably should not have called that is, oh, that's not what I meant to do. I should have said, yep, I'm going to say P2P equals A. And then A is equal to this vector. A is one of the points with that we're, we're interested in. All the other stuff except for A and B are invented points to help us get the answer we want. Okay. There's point A. Here's point B coming up. Yeah, I think it didn't get popular until the 2000s, and that's my recollection as well. It did, was not popular uh, when I was coding. I, I retired in the year 2000. Um, it was not popular at all then. It, it sort of just come into popularity then. People were just starting to talk about it. Um, I think. I c my memory is much worse than yours because I'm freaking old. Um, okay, this actually might be uh, less useful than um, cutting in because I'm getting like lots of crap here. I'm trying to avoid getting new lines in here, but I don't think, I can, and I know there's a four missing. I will add it, even though it's insignificant. Okay, so we have A, B, and P to P. So, what coordinate system are you in, Cartesian? Uh, we're flipping between Cartesian and spherical coordinates. The idea here is very simple, and it's so simple that it, someone should have already done it, and I'm, I'm stupid. We have two latitudes and longitudes, and we're trying to find the great circle between them and find, let's say, like, n waypoints that are along the distance from point A to point B. And at one point, I was trying to find a closed-formed formula for them, which it turns out does exist, but is insanely complicated. Um, though it's still kind of cool. Um, and now I'm just trying to do it using cross products and, uh, you know, the method of, uh, there's, there's somewhere in here, uh, it explains why this, this all works. You, you get a, you get a perpendicular vector, then you get another perpendicular vector, and then you, you know, use the linear combination of those vectors to get points on the, on the sphere. Um, and then... If you have a third point and you want to know the minimum distance, you can get it. Uh, you can get a uh, parallel projection of it onto the plane using two more cross products. Um, and if you're saying, "Hey, there's a library that does this for you," there probably is. I just haven't found it. Turf.js does not. Uh, that was my first attempt. Uh, math. This mathmin.js doesn't either. But you wouldn't expect it to do that. That's m a very specific calculation. Um, all right, so now we're going to see is P to P perpendicular. Okay, that is, that's pretty perpendicular. To be pretty darn perpendicular. Is it of length one? I'll bet you it's not. It is not. Now, the, the thing I think I said was it doesn't need to be perpendicular because we're not ever going to use it um, for anything except... Uh, okay, so perpendicular. Yeah. We're never going to use it except for uh, creating another perpendicular vector. Um, but it'll be in Python. Uh, I forgot what I said. I know there's a slight delay between 
uh, when I talk, when I think, when I talk, and when you see it or hear it. Um, oh, no, this is JavaScript, and it has to be JavaScript because I'm doing web programming. I don't like JavaScript either. Um, and you know, that's, that's actually on my to-do list on my stream, and it actually is on my to-do list. I will prove that. I don't need to prove it, but I will show you that. Um, yeah. I'm going to give my results to Mathematica.StackExchange uh, and say, is there a simpler way to write this? And let me show you uh, what, the, what the first closed form is. Uh, which is geo BC geodesic. All this in, is in my GitHub, by the way. Uh, M, and so the the, f the matrix that converts, um, you know, that that takes you from. Um, basically, we start with three points A, B, and C. We can rotate the Earth so that A is at zero zero latitude longitude, and B is on the equator. Although we can't determine, we you know we can't force its position because we're doing a rigid rotation. This is the matrix that does that. Not too bad. To get back the other way, though, we need the inverse of that matrix, and that inverse is uh, this, I think. Oh yeah, this is this is one element of, the, and, and then we have to apply that matrix to the original point, and then we have to convert back into spherical coordinates. It's sort of a nightmare. So it is. Um, let me let me say that again more clearly. We start with three points. Uh, they are in spherical coordinates, because that's how we get them, latitudes and longitudes. Convert them to rectangular coordinates. Apply a matrix that rotates them so that, uh, you know, two of the points are both on the in the XY plane, and one of them is actually dead on the X axis. All of this can be done because we have enough degrees of freedom. So then, we find the position of C, which now, we, now it's actually pretty easy. Uh, because now we know the distance to C, because if the two points are on the equator, the distance to the third point is just the latitude of the third point. With a little bit of cleverness, we can find out where on the, um, on the, you know, the, the loop between A and B, uh, C is closest to. It, and now, of course, if it's off the edge of one of them, it'll be closest to A or B. But if it's in the middle, we can figure out that point on the equator that it's closest. But then we have to convert that point on the equator back to the original coordinates because obviously we want to know where on the, the original curve C is closest to. So that is the issue, and it gets, uh, this, is, this is essentially what it turns into. And I think that's just the uh, uh, reverse longitude. The reverse latitude is going to be below this, but it's like, it's like 200 lines of code. Um, and that's using all the simplifications I could find. Um, it should not be this difficult. I have spent I've whined on the stream about this not being that difficult, but it just is. At least as far as I could tell. Okay. So now, getting back to our lovely friend here. So now my claim here is that P2P does not have to be of uh, length 1 because we never use it in to uh, join anything together. So the perpendicular in the plane, so this is perpendicular to A but not to B. Um, Oh, we actually log that, don't we? Yeah, perpendicular to the plane. Um, so let me go ahead and assign this to the value PIP. There we go, that's how it's supposed to work. Okay. Y well, okay. We're trying to solve two problems at the same time uh, that are related to each other, I think. This is the, uh, oh, I've got a message from someone. Okay, sorry, that is unrelated to this. So trying to solve this problem here, we have a great circle joining A and B. I, I don't know if this is a real great circle, but it's supposed to be a great circle. And then we want to know what's the, what's the, you know, what's the distance to X and what point on this journey is closest to X? That's one problem we're trying to solve. The other problem we're trying to solve is my tab has just crashed. Now we can restore this tab. Uh, this guy wants to calculate waypoints between departure and destination. So he wants to find like, you know, 10, 15 points that are on this curve um, equally spaced. What he's doing is a little bit more complicated 
because he defines waypoints as being one of, he needs to find FAA facilities between A and B uh, at regularly spaced locations. So what you, we do is we find the, you know, the waypoints and then we find the FAA, lo you know, the tower closest to that waypoint. Uh, hopefully everyone is, uh, everyone is uh, caught up here. Um, by the way, if the point X is like way over here or something, it'll be closer to A because the, you know, because the great circle doesn't go all the way around. And obviously if it's over here, it'll be closest to B. But, but the interesting case is when it's between A and B, in, in the sense that the closest point is between A and B. Okay. So hopefully that helped. Yeah, it's not a difficult problem. It's not supposed to be a difficult problem. It's very trivial. I mean, it's not a difficult freaking problem. You should even be able to just take the equation that gives you the great curve and take its, you know, dot product, spherical distance angle from C, take the derivative, set it to zero. It doesn't work, by the way, but that's what you should be able to do. Anyway, enough ranting. So P is the point in the plane that is perpendicular to both P to P. Um, so we're up here, P point line. Uh, both AV and perp to plane. That's what we're hoping. So, P to P, are you, yep, you are. Are you to A? You are. Okay, so that's kind of nice. So, we are still good with perpendicular in plane. So, this has got to be the problem. And I, I, I sort of suspect what's, what, what's happening here. Um, I'm trying to take the norm of perp in plane while calling a function on perp and plane. That might not be the ideal situation. Or I've done something else wrong. I'd like to cover myself. Perp in plane unit. So this should be exactly parallel to perp and plane, but of size one. Um, uh, you're welcome, high altitude chur 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 uh, guy. Um, Chernikov. Uh, if you want to help with this or any other coding or do anything else ever, let me know. I'm very bored. Okay, so this is Pipu, which is like Pippa, but not a princess. Okay, alrighty, so Pipu. Okay, so let's see if Pipu has a norm of one. It does. Let's see if it is, um, I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't look like it's something, but that is actually a multiple of, of pip. So that's just the way we wanted. Uh, now, pip u should still be parallel, perpendicular to a. It is. It won't be perpendicular to b. And it still should be perpendicular to p to p, which it is. These numbers are all effectively zero. Okay, so now we run into the problem that I probably made a math error somewhere here. We can get rid of this little stopper here. So now, um, I want to multiply the, the two vectors that we have, the, uh, the uh, parallel in perp and plane unit and AV, which is the, a, you know, the vector we started with, and then sort of do a linear combination of them. Um, and I thought this was it, <laughs> but maybe it is not. So. And, I mean, and A is in radians, so this should be all cool. And vector multiply should take V and C and multiply them. The vector V and the constant C. And this should all work. But clearly it is not. Now, fortunately, oh no, I got rid of it. I actually had this done in a simpler step-by-step -step method instead of trying to combine everything. So, so let um, let's take this code and just compute vector v one. 
and res just means turn it into an array. And then we're going to comp computate vector v2, and see if these are e these are correct. Um, did you say you had done some differential geometry thing that didn't work, or just didn't bother translating that to that language? Uh, I did didn't do differential geometry quite. What I did is I took the um, the uh, the equations, uh, you know, the x y z equations that would tell me. Um, well, okay. So I took the matrix of transformation. It's a three-dimensional matrix of real numbers, uh, three by three, and then I inverted the matrix using linear algebra. Uh, the inversion of the matrix is terrible. It's 400 lines. Well, it's 200 lines long. Um, oh, it's more than 300 lines long, and that just seems wrong somehow, but inverting a matrix is a fairly simple operation. I mean, there's not many ways to do it. So it didn't wasn't differential geometry, but it was... Oh, I, okay, yes, I, kn I know what you're saying, sorry. Um, okay, again, not differential geometry, but you can compute the uh, x, y... Uh, let's see. You can compute the x, y, and z uh, coordinates of a point on a great circle, of all the points on the great circle, even those that are between A and B. Once you have that, uh, those coordinates, uh, you, can, you cannot take the distance to C because those coordinates, um, the, the straight line distance to C, because that is not the same as the angular distance. But you can take those coordinates um, and you can dot product them with C. So then you could sort of get an idea of what the angle is, which is proportional to the distance. And then that yields a nice formula. Not, it's not a nice formula. It yields a formula. Um, then if you take the derivative of that formula and set the e derivative equal to zero in terms of moving along the, the great circle, you should be able to find uh, you know, where the, the, that's minimum. The, where the derivative is zero, that's where the value is minimum. There will be an other zero derivative where the value is maximum, of course, uh, uh, because it'll be the antipode of the antipode. I don't know, the antipode of the first one. Uh, but yes, I did try that approach of computing the distance between every point on the great circle and the th point we're looking for, and then uh, trying to find where the maximum and minimum must occur. And actually, you only need one of them, actually. But so, so that's what I tried. Um, if you want, and I uh, don't recommend it, you can look at my older streams when I tried that, or if you want to just discuss it with me now, that that's fine, too. Um, I'm totally open to this. Um, I, I am. I am so disappointed in this function. Um, I even I even converted the function to several languages, um, and it works and it works pretty fast. But it just it's too ugly for me to actually admit that is the function I want to use. Um, okay. Um, all right, so we're going to do, um, oh yeah, we're going to do this step at a time. And see if this is accurate. We're gonna go not going to log this anymore. Uh, let me just comment that out. And we don't need to log any of this crap anymore. I made a really stupid error earlier, so now I'm just feeling like maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Uh, maybe this just fundamentally not a programmer. But anyway. All right, because there's ten of them, it's going to give me it's going to give me a whole bunch. Okay. So the very first v1 and v2 um, should actually match uh, point A, because that is uh, that's kind of where we're starting. So V1, um, after that, so let's take a, like a middling V1 here. Um, and I don't think I have anything named V1 here, so I can probably just assign it. So V1 equals thingy. And let's get sort of a nice, I'm trying to get a nice middle point so we don't have any like uh, special cases. So I mean a nice point that's not quite in the middle, a point that's in between the middle and start, I know, I know I'm missing a 3. 3. V2 equals this thing. 
So now we have lots and lots of data. Okay, so we have V1, V2. Norm of V1 should be less than 1. Norm of V2 should be less than 1. The norm of V1 plus V2, though, should be 1. It is. Okay, good. So, so far, so good. Um, now, V1 should be a... Um, let's see. V1 should be a multiple of A, and V2 should be a multiple of perp in plane unit. So let's try that. So V1 over A looks good. Um, okay. V2 actually should not be a multiple of perp in plane. This should be. This should be fine. Okay. So V1 plus V2 is the point that is... So let's, let's quickly take a look at something. I mean, it looks like it's, it's you know, we started off at the um, uh, negative X, negative Y. It looks like this is kind of doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, well, I mean, sorry, we started off at A. We're going to B, and we're right now here at... Holy crap, I know what's wrong. I'm going in the wrong flipping direction. Because this number should be between these two numbers. So I've actually mapped the antipode, the antipodes. Um, so what the fuck? Alright, not cool. Not cool at all. Okay. So V1 cosine plus sine, that, that's the y value. Unless I mess something up. Uh, I think I've got one of my cross products backwards. Because they are sensitive to direction. Okay, so here's A, here's B, here's the unitary point in the plane. Um. Um, yeah. Right, let me look at the let me look at the the perp the vector that's perpendicular to um, perp to plane PTP. So let me look at all three of them. I guess. Okay. Sorry, P to B. Okie dokie. So, to be honest, I'm having trouble imagining this, this plane. The only thing I can think of is I took my um, perpendicular to plane. Um, I took it by the right-hand rule, which is correct. But did I do it in the wrong direction? Okay, let's 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 look at this. Let's see if we can figure it out with intelligence before we figure out the correct way, which is with no intelligence whatsoever. Okay. Um So I think this is correct, because we want to go from A to B, we want the perpendicular to be in the right hand direction. The perpendicular in the plane um, so A, B to B, B. I'm, I'm doing stuff with my hands that you can't see. <laughs> and then we want something that's perpendicular to A, V. And, oh, that's okay, hang on. So A, V is kind of over here. Perp to, oh, perp to plane's up here. Oh, that is wrong. Okay. So if I take A, V cross perp to plane, um, that gives me a, I want that in the positive direction. Um, by the way, I don't know if any of this is correct. I'm just making it up. All right. So, and then I think, um, then I don't think we don't do any more cross products. So that's the problem. Um, I guess one way to put it is, um, if you think of 
AV as being the x-axis and BV being in the uh, positive uh, right, being in the uh, positive y values in the upper half of the, of the plane, this cross creates a z-vector that goes up, which is awesome. This is what we want. The way I had this written before, I was basically crossing the x-vector with the z-vector. But x cross z is negative y. I actually wanted to do z cross x, which is positive y, because I want to go in the direction of b, not the opposite direction. So I'm just making up this up. Sounds like math to me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely math. Um, OK, so I think we can now go back to this. Let's hedge our bets. Sorry, let's not hedge our bets. Let's not console log anything except the value we want. And let's see what happens. Probably will break. Oh, I didn't really mean for it to break. Um, OK, these points look a lot more like where they're supposed to be. So let's actually make this a little bit nicer. Uh, let's get rid of the other console logs. I did how we get rid of them all of them? Oh, no, we haven't. Um, you two, we get rid of the blank line between you, and we get rid of you. Ha <laughs> um, ha And we get rid of you. We do want to console log with A and B are, but we do that way up here. Okay. So, if you are flying, f why is this taking so long? If you are flying from Randy Champ, Gary, whatever the hell this is, latitude 33, longitude minus 118, to platinum blah blah blah, f uh, 59 minus 161. These are, okay, these are actually, wait, what the hell? We went past it. Okay, and I guess that's because I am jumping my, wait, 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 wait. Um, this should hit angle exactly at some point. Um, so I'm either computing angle incorrectly. Oh, yes, I am. I know. I'm an idiot. I'm usually an idiot here. The angle, of course, is not the dot product. It is the... Does Matt have an arc cosine? Yeah. Of that. So now... If this works, I'm downloading it. I mean, god damn, I have to. And I'm going to push it to Git, which I really should be doing more often. And there it is. The last point is dead on top of the first. The first point is dead on top of the, sorry, the second and the first. And then between them, we actually give you eight waypoints, even though you asked for ten. But, you know, that's, that's life. Um, so I'm happy with this. I'm going to download this. I'm going to push it to Git just because I, I don't even know where the hell it's being pushed. Oh, um, fixed stuff. That's my commit. Okay. Somewhere in here, it, there is a place here uh, that they've created a repo for me. I don't know where it is, though. So, yeah, whatever. Um, okay. I have now been streaming for holy motherfucking shitholes, balls, etc. I have been streaming for almost three fucking hours now. Um, I thought it was like closer to two and a half. But anyway, um, so I'm happy with this. We've definitely made some progress here. Uh, the next step might be to put this on a map. The next step might be to, once we found these waypoints, find the stations that are closest to them which is also painful. And then maybe create sort of some sort of interface in front of all this uh, so the guy who asked about it can use it. Although I'm not really that super excited about that part. Uh, I basically want to give him the code and say, here, uh, you can do it now. Um, so, and, and give him like a, a Google pages that he can use and, and do it and mess with it. Um, either by plugging these things in or just by plugging in arbitrary latitudes and longitudes and then say, here you go, here's the code, you figure out your own problem. Because I'm a, I'm a sadistic bastard, really. Um, okay, guys, so if you have anything to say to me, say it to me in the next um, 
uh, 20-ish seconds. I'm going to go ahead and make the stream go just over three hours because apparently, like, streamers like to do that. Like, I had a three-hour stream once. I'm so cool. Uh, and I am just as bad as other streamers. And I want to be able to say, I had a three-hour stream once. You have to say it in that voice, by the way. I had a three-hour stream once. I'm that awesome. I'm that much of a loser. But I have three hours to spend streaming to people. <laughs> yeah. That was a little Beavis and Butthead there. Okay, we're over the three hour mark. Um, and I know that there's a delay with Twitch, but by the time I finish saying this sentence, which I don't really know where it's going, but I'm pretty sure it's going to use up enough time to uh, make s even Twitch think it's over three hours. All right, thank you. F oh, so, so softer. What? So s after? Your mama? Um, I'll wait for you to retype that if you want to. Um, and I know some streamers have like these marathon 24 hour streams for charity yeah if I was up for 24 hours I would need so after you've done it this way do it on the two sphere do you mean like a so after you've done it this way do it on the two sphere let me ask you a question here um, I, I've been streaming for three hours I need to get off but it, do you want to uh schedule the time that you and I can work on this problem on streaming um, and I can, I can pull you in through discord or I'd really prefer some sort of audio uh, medium but you seem interested in this problem and I'm interested in people who are interested in anything I do so um, with differential geometry and stuff uh, well you know you sound like you got a plan so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the stream but we're going to continue talking on the chat I will type out stuff obviously uh, and let's see if we can figure out a time that we can, you know, both work on this together. It's going to be a little while from now because obviously I, I've, I've been streaming for three hours and I need to cry out the shame and the guilt. So I'll go ahead and stop the stream. Thank you for watching, everybody. And then you and I will continue talking High Altitude Chernikov. <laughs>